Hello, Walking Dead fans. This is Solid Dave Snake, and I am bringing you my last video on the Walking Dead TV Series 3 action figures by McFarlane Toys. And this review is going to be the last zombie in the series, and that is the autopsy zombie. And a little history on this zombie. He's not actually on Season 3 of The Walking Dead. He was from Season 2, the very first episode, if you remember, right after uh, they lost Sophia, when Rick and Daryl were looking for in the woods. He was the zombie they checked to make sure that he hadn't eaten Sophia, that they cut open. So, with that, we'll get into him. And this fig figure, all the accessories he comes with, you see on him. Or, well, you may not see all of them quite yet, but you will. The first one is the knife, and there's actually a hole in his shirt here to stick it into. Simulate the uh, cutting them open. And if you rip off the shirt and pull the tie and rip it off, you'll see he's got two extra accessories inside him. One is the woodchuck that they actually did find inside of them on the show. It's really tiny. might be hard to focus in on it. And the other one, they didn't find it in the show, but it's just another surprise you can have in there. And that's this hand, partially digested hand. It's really tiny and maybe kind of hard to see, too. So it comes with a good bit of accessories for what he is. Pretty neat. You can see the uh, cavity. I don't know which way I want to display this figure, actually, with uh, the shirt on or with this off. That's some nice detail. And he's the same all over. He's got blood splatter and just dirt and grime all over him. And for articulation, he's not the most articulated, but uh, he's still got some nice articulation for the zombies, for what they give the zombies. His head rotates, of course, a little bit up and down. Swivel at both shoulders and at the elbows. And he's got a twist at the hand. I like this left hand to make it look like he's reaching out for you. And the right hand is just kind of flat there. And he's got, he's actually got waist swivel. I didn't think uh, he was going to be able to turn at the waist with his gimmick. And at the hips, he can go up and down. And same with the knees. And twisting at the feet a little bit. And a lot of people uh, have complained about these Walking Dead action figures, about the joints having these ratchet type looks. And this figure does not have that, as you can see. It doesn't have that ratchet kind of joint. And from having this figure now, I, I kind of like the ratchet joints because you see that over time they're going to hold up and everything. Because with this, because it doesn't have the ratchets, everything's real loose on it, it feels like. So over time it might be harder to kind of stand up. but. I like those ratchet joints, and I hope they keep it up just because uh, after seeing this figure, what I think about it. But this is the last zombie in uh, Series 3, and I will catch you next time with, uh, well, they're going to have the comic series out in June. So I'll put up videos for the first series before that second series comes out, and uh, I'll see you then.